Yashodanandana Brajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Brajajana Ranjana Yamunashira
Jai Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya That's a mantra. We were chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Om Namo Bhagavati is also mantra. It was a mantra given by Narada Muni. You know Narada Muni? Yes. You know him? Narada Muni, not Narada Yeah? yeah. He's a, a spaceman. He travels in space, but without a spaceship. He has yoga powers and he can fly through the sky and he can go to all places everywhere. So Narada Muni gave this mantra to Dhruva Maharaj. How old are you? Five. 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 Dhruva Maharaj was also five. Dhruva Maharaj. He was your age. He was and he went to the forest, he went to the forest to find Krishna, He's looking for Krishna. Did you ever go to the forest? Um, yes. Yeah? They have a lot of trees here, Geneva. Yeah? Did you find Krishna in the forest? No. And did you chant mantra? You didn't chant the mantra, did you? So you couldn't find Krishna. Next time you go, you can chant the mantra, right? So Dhruva Maharaj went to the forest. He was chanting, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 And in this way, one time after chanting for a long time, but not a long time, six months. He stayed in the forest for six months. It's quite a long time, isn't it? Six months. It will be five and a half. If you're five and then you stay six months, then you'll be five and a half. And then Krishna came. Would you like to see Krishna? You wouldn't want to see Krishna. Why not? You don't like Krishna? Mm -hmm. Who do you like? Vishnu, Shiva, Ganesh. Mm -hmm. which, which person do you like the most? I don't know. You don't know? Oh. Okay, and so anyway, he was chanting Krishna's name, Vasudev, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. He was chanting the name of Krishna, Vasudeva is another name for Krishna, right? Do you have more than one name? What is your name? Disha. Lisa. Disha. Lisa. Disha. Disha. Lisa. Disha. Disha. You only have one name? Oh, so Krishna has many names. Many names, right? You don't have any nickname? We have different names. Krishna had many names. 
Vasudeva is one of the names of Krishna. So Dhruva was chanting the name of Krishna, Krishna came. So when we chant Hare Krishna, you were chanting Hare Krishna, right? I saw you chant. You also chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You chanted, didn't you? Yeah? Maybe Krishna will come to see you. Right? Are you chanting Hare Krishna? Good. Did you see Krishna? No? But you chanted. You heard, you heard Krishna's name. That's good. That's the beginning. You have to hear. We hear first and one day you will see Krishna. If you keep chanting, if you keep chanting, one day Krishna will come and see you. You say, oh Lisa, Hare Krishna. You will say, you're chanting my name. What will you say? What can you say to Krishna? You don't know? Well, you can just chant more. You can just say, Hare Krishna. Or you can say, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Or you can say, Namaste. Hmm? Namaste, Krishna. Right? Or you can say, Dandabats, Pranams. People say, <laughs> Dandabats. You know Dandabats? No? You know pronouns? Pronouns? This. This is pronouns. Namaste. So chanting, we want to chant the names of Krishna, the many names. And the louder you chant, the more powerful it becomes. So chanting is very important. So you've been reading the Bhagavad Gita. Right? So you were learning about the different people in the Bhagavad Gita. How many chapters in the Bhagavad Gita? How many chapters? Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen chapters, right? So the first chapter, the very first verse is spoken by Dhritarashtra, right? Did you learn that sloka? Dhritarashtra Uvacha. Mm -hmm. Yes? You know the verse? You all know? Yeah? See it? Let me hear. Dhritarashtra Uvacha Dharma Shetre Kuru Shetre Samabhita Yudsabaha Mamaka Pandava Shaiva Kipakura Sanjaya who is Dhritarashtra? Yes? A blind king. Yes, he's a blind king. Yes, Dhritarashtra. He wasn't supposed to become the king because he was blind. But his brother died. Do you know the name of Dhritarashtra's brother? Pandu. Pandu. Yeah, Pandu. And Pandu had how many sons? And how many sons did Dhritarashtra have? One hundred. One hundred sons. Were his sons blind? No. Spiritually they were blind. <laughs> Materially they were not blind. Now Dhritarashtra, the, the blind king. And there was another brother. There was Pandu and Dhritarashtra and there was one more brother. Vidur. Vidur. Did you hear the name Vidura? Yes. Vidura. They were born different mothers but the same father. It was told in Mahabharata. Have you read the Mahabharata? Have you read the Mahabharata? No, not yet. You've read the Mahabharata. Yes? You've read Mahabharata. No. You read Mahabharata? 
So then Mahabharata tells the word well, there was the king before Dhritarashtra. Who was the king before Dhritarashtra? His name was Vichitravirya, right? Vichitravirya. And Vichitravirya, he was the son of Maharaj Santanu. And Santanu, Maharaj Santanu was married to Satyavati. And Vichitravirya, so Vichitravirya became the king after Santanu, but Vichitravirya died without any son, no issue. And he had two wives, but no son. So then they called the brother, the brother of Vichitravirya. The brother was? Veda Vyas. Hmm? Veda Vyas. Yeah. You know Veda Vyas? You know him? Huh? He writes many books, wrote many books. What books did he write? Mahabharata. So. Mahabharata. What Mahabharata. else? Bhagavata. Shri Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Purana, yeah. 18 Puranas. Yeah. He wrote many books. Vedanta Sutra, he also wrote. No, Veda Vyas. He was the brother. So he came and he gave the children. First child, oldest child, who was the oldest child? Dhritarashtra. But Dhritarashtra is blind. So they thought, blind king, no good. Cannot be the king if he's blind. So they said, have another, give another son. So second son was Pandu. So Pandu was very pale color, very white. <laughs> so anyway, they said, anyway, we have to have a king. Pandu can be the king. And Pandu was, who was the wife of Pandu? Kunti. Kunti. Oh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> he, Maharaj, sorry, he only came to give you some huh? food. He came to give you some food. Oh, thank you very much. Also going to come no problem. Yeah, let him give. Hari. Yeah. He's nervous that I will. No problem, no problem. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pass it, uh, Bhavan. Give it to Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. I, I have some family friends visiting. That's oh. why I am here just like this and he's nervous. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, very you. thank you for sorry, coming. Krishna. No problem. Thanks, Hari. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> he comes regularly, Guru Maharaj. Really? Hari, yeah. Yeah. He comes and sits in the kirtan. Really? Yeah, when his mother is not there, it's better. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Come. No, Maya come, has come. Come, come. Maya, come. No? No, you have to go? Okay, go. I think they are, hmm? father is sick, so they are going. She brought some fruits. Some fruits and uh, some vegetables. Oh, okay. All right, so Pandu's wife was Kunti. Kunti. And Kunti's sons were? The Pandavas. They are Pandavas. How many Pandavas? Five. What were the names? You just there? Arjun. Arjun. Bhima. Bhima. Yes, Nakula and Sahadeva. Yes, Nakula and Sahadeva. So who's the oldest? You just there. 
And who's second? Bhima. Bhima, yes. And Arjuna's in the middle, right? And then the youngest ones are Nakula and Sahadeva. So, Nakula and Pandu had two wives. One wife was Kunti. Who was the other wife? No, Madri. Madri. Did you hear the name? No, you know, Madri. Madri. So there were two wives, both married to Pandu, Kunti and Madri. So what happened when Pandu died, then the wife wanted to go also with him, with the husband. The wife is faithful to the husband. So when the husband dies, wife also wants to die. She also wants to go with the husband. But they had sons. They had five sons. So, so somebody had to stay to take care of them. First three sons, they were the sons of Kunti by different demigods, not by Pandu, but they were conceived by demigods because Kunti had the power. She was given blessing, she could call demigods to come and they could give her a child. So even before her marriage, Kunti had a son, Karn. You know Karn? And Karn? So he was the born from which demigod? Surya. Surya, yes, right, good. And Yudhisthir was born after marriage, then Yudhisthir was born from who was the father? The, which demigod came? Dharmaraj. Dharmaraj. Mm, or Yamaraj, right? And then second son, Bhima, is the son of Vayu. Huh? Vayu. Vayu, yeah, the wind, wind god. And Arjuna is the son of? Son of Indra. Indra. Indra is the, the king of heaven. He's also the god of? Rain. Rain. Remember Govardhan Puja? Govardhan Puja? You know the Govardhan Puja? No? Krishna lift the hill? Right? Yes, you know? Yeah. How did he pick up the hill? Which finger? Little finger. Little finger, right? Which hand? Left hand. Yes, left hand, right? Picked up the hill with his left hand, little finger. Could you do that? Hmm? No. Difficult, huh? Pick up the hill with your left hand, little finger. So Krishna did it. How long did he hold up the hill for? How many days? Ten days. Seven days. Seven days? Yeah, seven days, right? So Arjuna was born by Indra. So Kunti had three sons. But then the other wife, Madri, she had no sons. So she said, oh, I also want to have son. I, sh I have no son. So she asked Kunti, you please give me your best. Give me your blessing. You have the power to call a demigod to come. So give me that power, then I can also get a son. So she said, all right. And she gave the power to Madri. And then Madri, very cunning. She thought, why I should just have one son? Kunti's got three sons. She thought, I, I, will, I will call the Ashwini Kumars. Ashwini Kumars, the two. So they came and they gave her son and then he got Nakula and Sahadev. So Nakula and Sahadev, they were the sons of Madri and Bhima and Arjuna and Yudhisthira, they're the sons of Kunti, all by different demigods. And Karn was before marriage. So what happened to Karn? 
you put uh, put him in the box and uh, float in the river. Yeah, someone else found the baby. Someone else, other people found the baby and they took him and they brought him up. So the Pandavas, they did not know. Yudhisthira did not know he had another brother. All right, so then Pandu died and then when he died, then what to do? Both the wives, they wanted to go. They wanted to go with their husband. But they said, no, you have five sons and they're all young, young children, right? You need your mother, right? You need your mother, you need your parents to take care of you. So they said, one of you have to stay. So Madri said to Kunti, you stay and I will go. And so when they burned the body of Pandu, Sati, uh, Madri entered into the fire. She did, she did Sati, what is called Sati. If you are from Rajasthan, any, are you people from Rajasthan? No, not from Rajasthan. Eh? You are not Marwari or Rajasthani Rajputs. These people, they still believe in Sati, they still. But the government have banned that now, they don't allow anybody to do that. But only in, maybe in the last, Prabhupada said he saw, in his time he saw people do it. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In Prabhupada's time he saw people, he saw women enter in the fire, give up their body, mm. go with them. It's really difficult. Yeah, very difficult. To enter into the fire. Yeah, very difficult. But some people do it. They did it in the past. Now they don't do it. So now the government abandoned because <laughs> because it became corrupted. The family would tell them, go, go, go in the fire. <laughs> they have to go on their own will, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they have to go on their own. Yeah. Okay, so Kunti had, so Dhritarashtra, he has got, who, who's Dhritarashtra's wife? Gandhari. Gandhari. Gandhari, and Dhritarashtra is blind. What about Gandhari? Is she blind? She put the she covered her eyes with clothes. Yes, right. She covered her eyes with cloth. Why? So she could she she did not want to see the world. She didn't want um that her husband to be blind at all. Yeah, she didn't want to be better than her husband, right? Yeah. She thought, my husband's blind, I should also be blind. I shouldn't be better than my husband. So she covered her eyes and she kept her eyes covered. He wants to tell something. Yes? No? So who was it? The oldest son of Dhritarashtra? Duryodhana. Duryodhana. Yeah. Duryodhana. So Duryodhana, he was always telling his father what to do. So there was always a problem between the two sides. One side is the Kurus, the sons of Dhritarashtra, and other side is the Pandavas. Actually, Pandavas are also Kurus. The Pandavas are also Kurus. They're also from the Kuru dynasty. But the Dhritarashtra separated them. Right? Dhritarashtra said, what did he say? Dharma Kshetri, Kuru Kshetri. Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva. Yeah, he said, what did my sons and the sons of Pandu? Now when Pandu died, then Dhritarashtra, he's the uncle of the Pandavas. He's supposed to take care, but he separated them. He said, my sons and the sons of Pandu. 
So Dhritarashtra was like that. He was blind materially and also spiritually. Hmm. So Dhritarashtra wanted his sons to fight. Lord Krishna came and asked them not to fight. Lord Krishna was sent by Yudhisthira. Lord Krishna became the servant of Arjuna and he also became servant of Yudhisthira. How did he serve Arjuna? He drove, he drove his chariot. Yes, Prabhu. He drove. No, his not you. Yeah, he, he, he drove his uh, horse chariot. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, before the battle, right, before the battle, both, both the two sides, there's one side is Arjuna and Yudhisthira and Bhima, and the other side is the sons of Dhritarashtra and Duryodhana. So they both want to get Krishna on their side. All right? They both went and they both went to Krishna and they went to see Krishna and Krishna was taking rest when they came. Krishna was laying down. So what happened? Um, I, uh, first uh, first uh, Duryodhan came and then Arjuna came and bowed his head in front. So that Krishna asked Arjuna what he needs. Then Duryodhan said that uh, he came before so he should ask. But then he said that he did not see him because Arjuna bowed his head first. Mm -hmm. Can sit in the, in the front of the legs here, yeah. next to the legs. Mm, well, maybe. How, how do you know the story? What happened? I think Arjuna went and sat next to Krishna's feet. Yeah, he sat at Krishna's feet? Yeah. Yeah? And he patiently waited, but Krishna asked him first because uh, Duryodhana didn't pay his obeisances. Hmm? Duryodhana didn't pay his obeisances when he asked Arjuna first. What did he ask him? Uh, what he wanted. And what did Arjuna say? If uh, he can join his, his side for the battle. And what did Krishna say? What did Krishna say? To Arjuna? Yeah. He said uh, yes. He, uh, he, he said if he wanted his army or him. Right. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to fight. Right? Krishna said, I'm not going to fight. But he said, either you can, if, if you want me, I can come as your chariot driver or else you can have my army. Either you can have me as a chariot driver or you can have my army. So what do you want? You want Krishna to be a chariot driver or do you want Krishna's army? What do you think? Uh, Krishna to be the Yeah, better, huh? Anyway, Duryodhana, Duryodhana said, I want Krishna's army. Duryodhana thought better to have Krishna's army because Krishna said he's not going to fight. So Duryodhana said, let me have Krishna's army. So Arjuna was happy and Duryodhana was happy. They were both happy. They got what they wanted. Do you want Krishna or do you want Krishna's army? You want Krishna? The, the blind people, the materialistic people, they will want Krishna's army. They don't want Krishna. They want Krishna's army. Do you want Krishna or Krishna's army? Krishna, yeah. 
So, materialistic people, they want Krishna's energy. They don't want Krishna, they want to enjoy the energy of Krishna without Krishna. Sometimes they say, people want the kingdom of God without God. <laughs> Is that good? The kingdom of God without God? No good, huh? So we want Krishna. Without, if there's no Krishna, then it's useless. Just like if we give you the check, you know, you get check, you write the amount, not zero, 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 zero. You know, even you take it to the Swiss bank, how much will they give you? Zero, <laughs> right? They won't give you anything. But if you put a one in front of all the zeros, then it will become one million, ten million, a hundred million, then you can take it to the bank. Then you. So if you put one is Krishna and all the other zeros, that is Krishna's energy. That is all Krishna's energy. Without Krishna, it's useless. So Arjuna got Krishna and Duryodhana got Krishna's army. But before the battle, Arjuna is in the battlefield and he doesn't, he doesn't like to fight. Why not? Why didn't he want to fight? Because his, uh, his were all his family member. Hmm. Who? All of them. What were their names, some of them? Who were the special people he didn't want to fight against? There were two especially. Mm -hmm. Two people. Bhishma. Bhishma. Why? Why? Why Arjuna didn't like to fight Bhishma? Because he was. Uh... What's his relationship with Bhishma? Bhishma and Arjuna. Bhishma, ah. grandfather. Yeah, grandfather. Yeah, grandfather, Pitamaha, eh? the grandfather. Bhishma is the grandfather. And who is the other one Arjuna didn't like to fight? Arjuna. Why? His guru. His guru, yeah. His teacher, right? His guru. What did he teach? What did Drona teach? Archery. Archery. Yeah, fire the arrows and fight with the sword. Many things. Military. Was what is is Drona a Kshatriya? No. What is he? Brahmana, right? Dronacharya. He's an Acharya. So it's Dronacharya. Dronacharya. So Arjuna didn't want to fight against especially Bhishma and Drona. He said, they're, they're my worship, I worship them, worship, right? Do you worship your teacher when you go to school? Yeah. Yes? You go to school? What do you say to your teacher? Hello. Hello. <laughs> you don't say Namaste? You don't say Hare Krishna? No? <laughs> okay, so Bhishma and Drona, Arjuna sees them and he doesn't want to fight. And then Krishna is going to speak Bhagavad Gita. And Krishna will convince Arjuna to fight, right? So what is the meaning Bhagavad Gita? What does Gita means? Song. 
And Bhagavad means what? What song? God's the God, the song of God, yes. The song of Bhagavan. Bhagavan. But in the Bhagavad Gita, it's a Dhritarashtra Avacha, when Dhritarashtra speaks, it's the Arjuna Avacha, when Arjuna speaks. And when Krishna speaks, it says, Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. What is the meaning, Bhagavan? Well, yes. Why? Why is he God? What does it mean, Bhagavan? Bhagavan. He's superior to everyone. Well, Bhaga means opulences. Means, yes, it means a lot of valuable things. And van means one who has. So bhaga van, one who has opulences or powers. So what are these powers? What is Krishna's opulence? One is? Yes? Brahm. Huh? Brahm. What? Brahm. Brahman? Yeah. Brahman? But he's para-Brahman. Yeah. But that's not one of the opulences. There are six opulent, six things which make him Bhagavan. First of all, he's very wealthy. People want money, right? Who are the rich people? You know, maybe in America there's some rich people. In Switzerland here also some rich people. But they're not as rich as rich as Krishna. Krishna had the most wealth. Right? Krishna was very wealthy. And then Krishna is very strong. Right? Why is he strong? He could pick up the Govardhan hill. Right? As a young boy, you pick up the Govardhan hill. So he's very strong. He defeated also so many people, he killed so many demons. So strength, wealth. Is Krishna very good looking? Yes, he's very attractive, right? Beautiful. He has so many girlfriends. All the gopis, they all love Krishna. So Krishna is very good. And then another thing is, is he very intelligent? Yes. yes, he could speak the Bhagavad Gita. How long did it take to speak the Bhagavad Gita? Eighteen, hmm? 18 years. Eighteen years? How, how long did Krishna take to speak Bhagavad Gita? Not long, maybe one, one, one or two hours, Krishna. And he just spoke it. He just spoke on the battlefield. He didn't have to go and think about what to say, you know. If we have to do it, oh yeah, I want to say how to answer this question, Arjuna's question. So Krishna, remember what are the opulences? Wealth, strength, beauty. Is he very famous? Yeah, just think how famous he is. Not only on this planet, but even the higher planets, all the devas in the higher, the sun god, Krishna also teaches them. They also worship Krishna. So all the heavenly planets, all the devas, they're all devotees, they all worship Krishna. So he's so famous everywhere. Somebody is famous today, oh, tomorrow, they're not so you forget them, right? Who was famous? You know, maybe, do you remember there was one Michael Jackson? Yes. Did you ever hear his name? Yes. Yeah, where is he now? Yeah, yeah probably in hell, right? <laughs> he died. So, he, he's not famous now. His fame. You know, these girls, they don't know Michael Jackson. You don't know Michael Jackson, do you? No, see, they don't know him. They will grow up, they won't know Michael. He's, he's finished. His fame, 
finished, you know. For a short time he is famous, but not for long. So some people, just there was one man, he lived here in Switzerland, Charlie Chaplin. Did you hear the name? Yes. Charlie Chaplin. He came into Switzerland and he lived here in Switzerland with his family. Very famous. He was the very first man to make the films. And you know, he had a little mustache and he has a hat and it, you know, he can walk, walk very, very special, you know, very special. So he, they made, he made movies, the very first movie star, he was the very first movie star. So he lived here in Switzerland in a village, they have a museum at the village. They told me there's a museum there where he lived. Did you go there? Yes. Huh? You went to the museum? Hmm. Yeah, he's, but his fame, his fame, you know, it's not like, it's not like Krishna. Krishna's the most famous. He's famous everywhere. The whole planet, everywhere reads the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, we have, put, we have printed many languages. Do you have Bhagavad Gita at home? You don't have a book? No? You have, have the book? Hmm? We have the app. You have the app? Oh, you have the soft copy. Okay. You have Bhagavad Gita? You have the app? So Charlie Chaplin, he's famous but not like Krishna. So fame, wealth, beauty, strength, fame, knowledge, right? Some people, you know, maybe they do good at school, maybe they're good at school when they go to college. They don't do, they're not so, they may be not top at school, but when they go to college, university, then more people are there and they're all good and you can't be the top, you know. <laughs> you go on, you try to do better. But Krishna, he's the most knowledge. He can speak all the scriptures, he can speak Bhagavad Gita so nicely in just a short time in the middle of the battlefield. So Krishna has all knowledge. And one more thing, there are six opulences. One more thing Krishna has, renunciation. He is not attached. He's not attached to and he's not proud of anything. He's very humble. Is very detached. So can you remember all these opulences? We may have some wealth, we may have some knowledge, you have some good looks, you, have, you know, you have, you have some of the, all, all these things, but we don't equal Krishna, cannot be Krishna. Krishna has the most, right? Krishna has the most money. He is the best looking, he is the most famous, he is the most renounced. So we are trying to understand. That's why he is Bhagavan. Bhagavan, he is the Supreme, we say Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are many Gods. It, God of rain, God of wind, God of sun, God of money, God of health. There are many gods. How many gods in heaven? Thirty-three crore. You know a crore? Crore means how many? How many one crore? Ten million. Ten million. Hundred thousand is a lakh. One hundred thousand is one lakh. One crore is a hundred lakhs. Ten million. So thirty-three crore demigods, devas. Can you worship all of them? Huh? No, cannot, right? 
So we worship one, the Supreme. Who is the Supreme? Krishna. Yeah, Krishna. We worship Krishna, right? How do you worship Krishna? Chanting. Hmm? Chanting. Chanting, yes, very good. Chanting. Do puja. Read the books about Krishna. This way you can please Krishna. Okay, any question? Understand? Good. Understand? Yeah? So, who is Bhagavan? God. God. What's his name? Krishna. Yeah. Yeah, God is his position, right? Krishna is his name. Krishna Janika Namahe Kokula Janiki Tamahe Aisa Sri Prananama Ko Meri Bara Bara Pranam. Right? Krishna is his name. And what's his home? Where's his home? Goku, right? Goku Janika Tamahe. I say Sri Bhagavan ko meri bara bara pranamahe. We offer respects to Krishna. Okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So? Uh, yeah, he has brought prasad for all the children. Huh? He has uh, brought the prasad, Guru Maharaj. We offer it. Uh -huh. And I will start distributing. Okay. There. And he wants to wear the Tulasi Mala. Ah. Uh, we know it. Really? Yeah. He wants to wear like us, Guru Kanti. Maharaj. Uh -huh. I have bought a Tulsi Mala from the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, there is there any rules, uh, regulations for that? Uh, no, it should be vegetarian. Yeah, he's vegetarian. Yeah. No onion garlic? Oh, very good, yeah. Mm. Cook and wear it, yeah. Okay. You can give that to him, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Chanting Hare Krishna. Very nice. Yeah, we wear the kunti. They say Yamaraj will not come when we have to.